Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show y'all uh, how to change out the battery door on a TLR1 uh, Streamlight flashlight. So what I've got here, I've got a TLR1 uh, HL uh, high output uh, and then I've also got a TLR1 VIR. This is uh, essentially their vampire light. Uh, I've got white light and then an IR light here. Essentially what I want to do, I want to take the battery door off of my TLR1 HL which is designed to go on a pistol. It's got the little toggle switches right here uh, and I want to swap it out for the uh, battery door that was on the uh, the TLR1 VIR because this was uh, essentially designed to be a rifle mounted light. So uh, this battery door is for a tape switch. Um, I'm going to put this IR light on my helmet for uh, pig hunting at night so I can have some uh, an IR light and I want to take this TLR1 HL put the battery door that has the remote switch so that I can put this on uh, one of my uh, extra rifles just laying around. So let's take a look see how we're gonna do this essentially you need your lights battery door and the only tool that you are gonna need is some needle nose pliers I've got some Leatherman's right here uh, so let's get to work. Alrighty guys let's get to work I'm gonna take this um battery door off my TLR1 HL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip up uh, this little lever right here and that pops the battery door out. <clears throat> and then it's got a little latch uh, that kind of grabs the bottom of the light. So I'm going to take that. So here's where the big issue is. Uh, how do I get this battery door off once I've undone the clasp? Um, so essentially what we're going to do is uh, this little pin right here we are just going to use our needle nose pliers and remove that pin. So that's really all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to push it to one side if I can with my finger. Uh, it might go one way better than another way. Cool. So that pin pulls out. You might have to finagle it, guys. This one was a little bit more difficult than the others, uh, but essentially uh, that's how you do it. Just pull that pin straight out. I'm going to take this knife, put it up. So now what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to take this battery door and I want to put it on uh, the uh, the vampire light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mate these up right there and then just take an extra one of my pins. So a lot of times it actually might be best just to go ahead and put that battery door in right there because uh, a lot of times what that does is it takes the tension off. Yeah, so we're going to do that Set that up right here. We're gonna to try to line it up as best as we can. Feed that pin in. Okay, there we go. It's starting to go in. Okay, so that's the pin for the other one. Just continue to push. Cool, there we go. And then just try to even it up a little bit nice and snug so i now have this new battery door on my tlr1 vampire light and then that clicks and then essentially what i can do is i'm going to take the uh one for the remote switch i'm going to go ahead and set that in there just like that and uh, put that pin in There we go. Let's put some batteries in. See if uh, see if it works. Go to the other side, punk. Boom. So there we are, guys. Swapping out battery doors for TLR1 lights. Doesn't matter. Uh, HL, regular, vampire. Um, it's pretty straightforward. That little pin right there and the battery door, that little pin in that latch, that is the magic trick right there. Uh, don't try to uh, force something that doesn't uh, want to come. Just continue to work with it. But uh, that pin is a trick. Thanks guys for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.